Fast moving targets live from Buma Meets. Music meets tech on the um, Eurosonic Noorderslag Festival. The man behind um, Buma Music meets tech is Andy Zondervan. Andy, uh, welcome. Uh, Hi. So, what is it? Yeah, uh, Buma Music meets tech. That's a platform I created basically. It started about five years ago when I first went to Eurosonic, or six years ago already. Um, and the idea behind it is to bring a lot of new innov innovation ideas uh, to the music industry, where I noticed up front when I first started out that a lot of these kind of companies didn't find their way into the music industry because they were coming from a tech side. So they didn't know anybody, they didn't have the right network. And well, basically they started approaching me because I get to talk with a lot of tech companies um, and, and try to get me to get them in touch with the right people. So I went like, if, if we can put them on the right places like here, then they have an audience and they have a place to fall down to and then they can find their, their own ground. Yeah. So it's a platform to bring the, 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 the two fields uh, together. Yeah, it's basically what it says, music meets tech. So uh, all those new tech startups which have great music solutions, um, find find the way for them to talk to the music market in a natural way. So one of the things at Eurosonic is, of course, that we have a lot of information that we can share, uh, and uh, we do a lot of panels with music music related companies, but also with tech related companies, bringing ideas and information to the to the music industry. So that's why we're here. Yeah, hey, um, um, and, and bringing uh, the, the two together. Um, um, uh, uh, over here, so you've been doing that uh, in, in the past as well, for five years you said? Uh, yeah, true. You just said. So, um, what are the, 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 well, the successes so far? Uh, well, actually, last year we, we really launched the brand, Buma Music Meets Tech. Before, it was more of my, my initiation or my, uh, my idea which I took uh, and uh, and uh, most of the time, it was something that I was saying, like, okay, this is part of Music Meets Tech. And then people went like, okay, we'll call it Music Meets Tech, but whatever. Yeah. So now it's become a brand, and it's become a platform, and it's become a, a way that people other people can tag onto. So it's not just more about um, Andy bringing ideas to other people. It's more about people bringing ideas to other people. So that I can pull out of it a little bit, and maybe become more on the background and have the brand itself speak for itself. And I, I started noticing one of the big successes is that there are a lot of partners who want to join and a lot of big brands as well who really understand that this is uh, something that we could really use in the future to bring, to bring innovation to this, uh, to this sector. Yeah. I hey, think the music sector can really use some new ideas from outside the music industry, yeah. so that's why. Hey, and, and, and okay, this is uh, happening uh, right here, but uh, um, Buma Culture is organizing um, um, as part of more events. Yeah, uh, Amsterdam true. Dance event is one of them. Yeah. Um, so will it be a part of different uh, events as well? Yeah, well, it's, it's of course, the, the logical step was to go to Amsterdam Dance event, for instance. So we launched uh, the Buma Music Meets Tech uh, Amsterdam Dance event initiative as well uh, last year. And that was our first time at ADE <laughs> where we were really visible. I mean, I've also been doing a lot of stuff at ADE for the last five years, but not as visible in one brand and one concept. Um, so that basically gives the same people who come here, gives them the chance to also attract the other audience, which is more the dance related music sector. And we're going to branch out even more. We're not going to just do Puma Culture events. We're going to do a lot of events outside of our own scope. So for instance, I'm talking to a lot of festivals, uh, conference festivals in Europe uh, to maybe bring also bring a part of Buma Music Meets Tech there. And there's been a lot of interest. I've been approached by a lot of companies in the last couple of months saying like, can we also do something there? And are you also willing to come to our country to maybe yeah. put up hey, a Buma uh, Music Meets Tech there? Programming this uh, uh, event, uh, you talk to people, you look around you, you see uh, trends. Uh, and you see maybe uh, problems uh, that need to be solved. Uh, as a result of that, uh, you have this event. Yeah. So if I ask you, what are the, imp what are the, the important issues you're addressing um, uh, this year? Well, um, there's a lot of them because, of course, um, we're almost programming one third of the, the conference at Eurosonic now, so there's a lot of panels to which we do. Um, uh, uh, let, me, let me go into three areas. One of the things, I'm not looking at as much at innovation as being a problem, but more as, bringing something new or bringing just solutions, which necessarily doesn't mean that uh, there's, there's been a problem up front. 
Uh, one of the things that I think is a big opportunity today is uh, we're doing two days of uh, panel sessions regarding data monetization, uh, where you can find a lot of solutions regarding data and what uh, that can bring to the industry. Because uh, I've been saying for the last three years, I think in a lot of panels and a lot of presentations that I'm doing, that we're a data-driven industry. And it's starting to really resonate within the industry itself now. And I can see a lot of companies starting to really dig deep into their data and starting to work together with other companies as well. Uh, another project that I'm doing at Buma is reaching out our data to, for instance, universities who can dig in our data and look at what they can find and what they can bring with that data by attaching it to other data sets which they can also uh, have access to. And then uh, all of a sudden you see all this cool stuff come emerging from it and yeah. I've had a couple occasions where I really said, you guys have a startup going here. Yeah. This is a great concept. If you start doing this, I'm going to buy your technology or I'm going to be one of your customers. Yeah. So th I think there's a lot of stuff going on around that. So data monetization, that's a great one. Data mining, everything which has to do with that. Uh, another area which is of course always a thing still going on is regarding like, okay, where does streaming really sit and what, how does it really affect the industry? So that's more of a discussion point. And that's something, it's, a, it's been a disruptive innovation, so to say. So I think there's a lot of discussion still going on in that and like, should we accept it? Should we fight it? For instance, Spotify is, of course, being sued the last couple of weeks by, by different organizations. Um, I think there's a lot, a lot of lack of knowledge still there, still there. So bringing innovation information to the market, I think is very valuable so that they can understand, okay, this is the bigger picture instead of this harms me today, but it might bring me a lot of business tomorrow. So, and well, if you, the third, the biggest one in my opinion this year, which we brought is the technology which sits beneath Bitcoin, which is called blockchain, which could be a huge solution and a different approach on the way that we remunerate on music and the way that we approach copyright. And it's in its infancy, it's really small today in the, in the solutions. It's more of a, a promise like, okay, Bitcoin can do a lot of sto stuff, or sorry, blockchain can do a lot of stuff, which we've been looking for, I think, in the last 20 to 30 years on finding, okay, where's music being used? How can we get the money from that directly to the makers? Um, how do we get that information going? Mm -hmm. How do we make it safe? A lot of huge questions which seem to be locked in that little bit of technology, which could really promise to bring something new. Yeah. <coughs> An important problem of the blockchain, uh, and as well as, as Bitcoin is, it's so hard to explain it to other people, isn't it? True, true, yeah. and we're just, like I said, it's in its infancy. We have uh, two specialists, actually, one from Deloitte and one from a startup, which I've been talking to in the last couple of months, uh, who, who build solutions on blockchain, and one of the big solutions that they're building is that they're, they're doing it with Swiss banks on making the the, the euro blockchainable, I mean, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So if they can do that, then I, I believe, truly believe that if they're able to get those kind of solutions going on that much higher level than copyright issues, then of course, then we can also gain from that and they will probably help us bring solutions as well. Not just that company, but I think there's a lot of companies emerging now, a lot of startups emerging now. So we have two specialists here, uh, which I'm gonna definitely expand on in the future. And yeah, it's really hard to really explain from a core perspective. I'm not even going to try today. <laughs> but but just <coughs> what I do want to emphasize is just just remember the word blockchain, let it resonate, find the information behind it because, well, you heard it here first. Not really true because, of course, it's been around for a couple of years. But connecting it to copyright, this is something which is 2016. I think that's the year where we're all going to look back and say, like, okay, that, okay that's where it really started. Okay, really nice. Hey, uh, you mentioned um, um, uh, Spotify. All the years we had really good talks with Spotify people, yeah. etc. But yeah. I don't see them around. No, true. They're not here uh, this year. Why not? Uh, unfortunately, uh, well, they've been in, they've been running into some issues in the last couple of months. Um, due to that, um, they had to pull back from the conference. Unfortunately, I mean, they were really willing to come out. They really wanted to be here. Uh, one of my personal friends, Will Page, who's a really uh, big inspirational speaker and who is one of the best economists in the world, in my opinion. Um, every time that I talk to that guy, I get so much more fuel for new ideas and new concepts. Um, well, he's a big fan of Eurosonic. Uh, he couldn't come out, which is a shame. Uh, Will, I miss you. <laughs> no, but um, uh, I hope to have bring them back next year. And um, well, this year they have bigger, bigger fish to fry than talk to the people at Eurosonic. But 
uh, I think there's a good representation of alternatives. Yeah, of course. For example, and Deezer is around, etc. All other players yeah. are around as well. Okay, uh, and Andy, thanks a lot. Uh, uh, well, we enjoy it uh, so far, and we will uh, be enjoying it tomorrow. Then there's a lot yeah. of startups. Uh, yeah, we have a lot talk. of startups. I've been uh, I've been uh, screening startups in the last couple of months uh, all throughout. I've been been to the UK, been to France, been to Italy, been to several countries, talking to startups, looking to of new ideas. Um, I, I think we had more than 50 startups who could be applicable for Bumo Music Meets Tech. Uh, I brought out 12, which you're going to be talking to yeah. tomorrow. Very promising. They all have their own concepts, their own ideas. They're all in different levels. Some of them are really advanced. Some of them are really early stage. But um, they have their, uh, in the Bumo Music Meets Tech, the area, they can also showcase themselves throughout the whole day, which is also new at Eurosonic. And I think it's going to be a tremendous um, step forward for these kind of companies to be more involved in the industry itself. Some of them have been making their strides themselves, and others, I think, could use a little kickstart from our side. So I hope that will be the, the added, added value that Buma Music Meets Tech can bring. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot. Looking forward to tomorrow, and we'll speak to you, or at least we see uh, what you've been um, uh, uh, selecting uh, for us uh, uh, tomorrow. And I say we'll speak to you tomorrow. Maybe we will, but you will be really busy tomorrow. I will be running around <laughs> yeah, everywhere, yeah, and yeah. probably, yeah. maybe I'll come back and we'll yeah. see. Have okay. a good day. Yeah, thanks, thanks a lot. Uh, <laughs> thank you for watching now. Um, uh, two days of Buma Meets uh, Music Meets Tech uh, in Groningen. Um, uh, and uh, if you uh, uh, watch this uh, on demand on fastmovingtargets.nl or via uh, via YouTube. You can uh, watch all the other interviews as well. Thank you.